Hello, uh, welcome to 88 Pine Street in Islip. Uh, this is a three bedroom ranch. It's a Tudor style ranch. Uh, the, the exterior is brick as, as uh, you'll see shortly. And uh, so let's get into the tour. My name is Bryn Elliott with Douglas Elliman Real Estate. And there at the property is my associate, Michael Wright to uh, be the camera person and, and give us this uh, virtual tour or video tour, if you will. Uh, so uh, let's put the camera on Mike and take a look at this great house. Okay, so you should be looking at the front of the house there. You can see the, the peaks and the architecture. It's a Tudor style ranch. And uh, please bear with us as uh, Mike approaches the front of the house. The sun is, is shining right towards him. Uh, but we, by the way, we do have professional photos online. So if you want to uh, see the nice high resolution pictures, you can just search for 88 Pine Street. You see you have a nice sizable driveway with Belgium block. And uh, let's go on in. Really pretty home, well, loads of character. As you enter, there's a, a front entry with a coat closet. And then to your right, uh, you step on into the, oh, I think Mike might be putting on some booties. <laughs> uh, you step into the living room here. And so as you can see, we have hardwood floors and uh, a nice living room with, they're all Marvin Infinity windows throughout the house. And then off of the living room, you have French doors to a Florida room or sunroom. That's a nice angle, Mike. Thank you. It's a good size room. So in the Florida room, uh, the homeowner has a desk in there and some, some workout equipment. Okay. Little bonus room there. Uh, this home has central air conditioning, central vacuum, hardwood floors, and like I said, there are Marvin Infinity windows. So uh, the, the bandwidth isn't the best. It's going to catch up to Mike in a second here. Mike, we're still in the living room. So we'll take a look off of the living room. It's open to the dining area. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's the the dining area off of the living room. Perfect. And then that passes through to the kitchen. Okay. You have plenty of cabinets, gas cooking, good lighting. All right, and then uh, we'll go see uh, the first two bedrooms. So bedroom number one, uh, the hardwood floors flow right through, real nice size room, and it's a bright room. As you can see, there's plenty of furniture and it can handle the furniture really well. Okay, there is a closet. So now we'll go to bedroom number, yep, that's bedroom number two. Again, hardwood floors. Another nice bright room, there's your closet. And then we'll go see the, the full bathroom, which has vaulted ceilings. Full bathtub. Yeah. Very nice. There's the central air, as you can see, one of the ducts. It's also forced hot air heat and it's gas heat. Uh, the home was built in 1941, so we're going to head through the kitchen to the third bedroom. Uh, the, home, the home was built in 1941, so you have a terrific tax basis. The taxes, after your star rebate, 
come to $7,655.09. And then the true taxes with no exemptions and no rebates are 88, 23 and 91 cents. So 8,800 and after store 7,655. That's tremendous. Um, it's a real affordable home uh, between the low taxes and the gas heat and, and so on. So um, yeah, plenty of cabinets in the kitchen. Okay. And then bedroom number three also has vaulted ceilings. A really nice room. There's a skylight. And then you have, um, yeah, there we go. You have a closet and there's also a, a door to the basement. So we're going to head down to the basement really quick, just show you uh, the, the main space, we'll say, um, but the bandwidth gets really low in the basement. So please bear with us. Oh, that worked actually better, better than I thought. Um, so there's the main space in the basement. And now we can head back up and see the backyard. Uh, but also down here is a laundry area and utilities. Uh, it's gas heat. There's a separate gas hot water heater. The dryer is gas and there's also gas cooking and the house has central air conditioning. The furnace looks really young. Uh, the furnace air handler for the uh, heating and cooling system. Uh, so uh, we can get the age from the homeowner. I'm not sure, but it, it's definitely in good shape. Uh, as you can see in the backyard, we have a rear patio and a spacious yard. There's a shed. The, the yard is fully fenced and it's a 75 by 125 lot. So it's a nice, nice size backyard, nicely laid out and shaped lot. Uh, the homeowner is quite confident, maybe off by a few months, but quite confident that the roof uh, gutters and insulation in the attic was done in 2011. So the roof is under 10 years old. Uh, most roofs uh, go for about 30 years. So you probably have a good, say, 21 years left on the roof, roughly, right? I mean... Um, we also have in-ground sprinklers and, uh, the house is in a terrific location. You can get to sunrise in, you know, about a minute, maybe a minute, you know, maybe a minute and a half, not even probably under a, a minute to drive to sunrise highway. You're in real close proximity to Southern state parkway. So you can get to some major arteries and, and, um, it's a terrific home to be able to, whether you're commuting or just want to be able to, you know, get, get around quickly. And you're also very close to the Long Island Railroad train station. So um, you have that too. Uh, again, this is 88 Pine Street in Islip. Uh, terrific home. And um, uh, thank you for joining us for this tour. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions and you're working with an agent, please reach out to your agent. Uh, if you're not working with an agent and uh, you, you, you have questions about this house, uh, or real estate in general, uh, please feel free to reach out to Mike and I. My name is Bryn Elliott with Douglas Elliman Real Estate. And my associate uh, there at the property is Mike or Michael Wright. So uh, thanks again. Have a great day.